Hi everyone, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and welcome back to another video. So today's video, honestly, if you got this far, that means I've decided to post it, but I, in the moment, I haven't decided that I'm going to post it yet. <laughs> um, I thought I would just try something different and get on camera and I guess film it, talk about it and then see how it actually turns out. So. I thought I would do, as the title suggests, a wrap up on my autumn spreads. Um, Cause obviously I talk about what kits I'm gonna use and then what kits I'm gonna use in the month. And then, unless if you don't follow me on Instagram, you never see the kits again. <laughs> so I thought I would do it. Um, I'll try it for autumn. Cause obviously I'm in, um, what is it? June now. So I've just finished autumn spreads um, and see how it goes and if people like it I'll continue it and if not well that's fine um, I'm only gonna do the actual seasonal kits so at the end of the year I do film a full flip through and I talk through it and look back on all my spreads so I'll still be doing that but this is more to talk about like specific seasonal kits and Obviously I talked about how excited I was to use them or I actually, in some cases I, I wasn't excited to use them and now this is like, well how did that translate? Whereas I feel like by the end of the year, I'm not really, really going to remember what I was excited to use and what I wasn't. So that's kind of the thought process behind it anyway. Um, I do have some new lights, so I'm just playing around to get the best setting. So um, I do have like two ring lights, so that's why you can kind of see the ring here. Um, I do think though, a reflection is better than shit lighting. <laughs> Hopefully you agree because um, the lights work wonders for my Instagram photos um, and looking at the viewfinder. It looks really good, the colours and the vibrancy and stuff. Um, it's just there's a little bit of a reflection here. But hopefully, as I said, you guys are happy. You're okay with that. So, anyway, moving on from the intro. This is the first seasonal spread because, as you guys know, March, I had a very busy non-autumn themed month. Um, so I only got to do two season two months of autumn spreads which is rare for me because autumn is my favorite season to plan it's my favorite art um yeah so this is the first spread that i used and it is the glam planner um i want to say september yeah september 2020 mystery and it was like home cozy pumpkin themed so initial impressions when i look back at this and also i remember as soon as I filled out the spread, I felt this way as well. Um, I think I went a little heavy on words. And let me explain that. So there's obviously a quote box kind of already up, like that came with the kit. I'll just kind of hold it a little bit so you're not being blinded the whole time. Um, then I put a quote box here. I put a quote box here. And then the work scripts are bold and in your face. And then this whole day is almost all scripts. There's more scripts here. There's a really big weekend banner. I just feel like it's a little um, words overload. I don't know, like foil. Not that like foil is a bad thing. I just, I don't know. I feel like all I see when I look at this spread is this little square here. I don't know if you can see that. It's just all foil. I don't see like the beautiful art or this amazing double box or this beautiful girl. All I see is this little square of um, scripts. So that's a little disappointing because this was one of my most um, hyped kits, I guess. I really, really loved the colour scheme. I, I love a, um, like a cool toned grey um, pulled in against the warm tones. I think it really offsets the colours nicely without just being a filler color just to be a filler color um so yeah i'm a little sad when i look back at this spread only because i feel like my attention is taken away from what i wanted um and it's just put on um this little section so i did really like how i did this double box i'll just move it over so you can see so it has the like hey there pumpkin welcome mat and then you open it up and it is the double box so i generally think the like square double box this one here and a kit 
double box is a little bit too much so I like being able to use it that way right so that was September mystery um, next we have so that one was one that I was excited to use and ended up not really loving this one was my least excited to use I really didn't like the kit I didn't want to use it and it ended up being one that I really liked so how does that work I don't know this is I want to say also the September mystery but I could be wrong on the month from 2020 from caress press um, I don't subscribe to caress press so I picked this up in her shop because I really liked the art and then it just like the opposite of grew on me it just like I don't know, like I just didn't like it anymore so um, and then when it came to sort of pick my kit line up I was one kit short and so I kind of had to use this and I really was not vibing um, but 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 I ended up absolutely loving it um, I used a mixed metal of copper and silver which I think really helped you can really see the copper um, bottom washi here with the light um, and then I used silver bougie and silver scripts and then I used um, a copper wiggle that I had from SPC um, actually I had two I had I used like leftovers I didn't have a full one so I used the matte white with copper I used the oops um, glossy copper and then yeah the silver so it actually I really like it <laughs> like really really like the spread and and I was very surprised I did a little um extender box here as well if I can pick it up um because I actually liked all the full boxes I don't know I just I, I was pleasantly surprised by this um the bottom washi is beautiful I love the copper and then I used um can you see Oops. um like silver bow overlay from caress press as well so yeah, this is also like pumpkin themed, but I feel like they were very different. So it was fine like to use the two back to back. Um, but yeah, very pleasantly surprised with this kit um, in the end. Next. Whew. Okay, now we're going for option three. Loved the kit and was excited to use it and also loved the spread once it was laid down. So this was the... I can't think of the name of the kit, the original or this one. I want to say Autumn Lights, and maybe the first one was called Lights. It could be wrong. Um, I used the original, I think, I want to say two years ago, um, and then Elle redid it with, like, autumn colours, and I knew I had to get it because I loved the original, and I love this one even more. Um, it's the most beautiful, like, forest fairy kind of art and then it's got these like um orange tones throughout it and it just reminds me of like a bonfire kind of which is funny because I end up using the bonfire wiggle but um yeah it reminds me of a bonfire just these little like light flecks of orange and I just it's so far up my alley um you can see I use the SPC bonfire wiggle which is like the orange and you can see it really well down here on the bottom washi um and I just I really liked it it really came together for me um my only thing I don't like is I ran out of work scripts and I've actually still run out but I'm just using other stuff now um so I cut work out scripts um and they're tiny and they kind of like look like there's just an empty gap because the script is so small but um anyway that's a minor thing because oh god I love this I really the art the wiggle the colors it really this this is everything an autumn spread needs to be it needs to be heavy on orange it needs to have some form of like green preferably and then two other colours to offset that. Um, love this. Really, really love this. Um, this was from Glam Planner. I don't know if I said that. Um, I've got to skip a week because that is not autumn themed. Uh, and then we're in this one. Ooh, okay. This is another one that I loved. Um, this is the Glam Planner Fall 2020 Mystery. So her seasonal mystery. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this one actually when... I saw the sneak of it um, just wasn't really my art style 
Um, this artist is not my favourite, favourite artist. I do like her stuff, but it's sometimes her stuff looks a little, um, like, simple. But when I got it in person and I saw the colours, I knew it was going to be a fucking bomb. And, I mean, if I do say so myself, hello, it is bomb. Um, autumn, but with blue and yellow. But not, like, this isn't an autumn yellow to me. It's like a spring yellow. Um... Incredible. It's really cool toned, which also seems odd because there's a yellow and an orange, but overall the spread is cool toned. Um, even this like burnt orange colour is still on the cool toned side of burnt orange, if that's a thing. Um, the blue is cool toned, the grey, pink, sorry, grey purple is cool toned, and the yellow is cool toned. So I love, love, love my warm orange red, yellow, green for fall, don't get me wrong, um, but this was such a fun mix-in. I just really enjoyed mixing it up, um, and the spread came together so well. Um, L included gold hollow, and I was a little bit eh, unsure about it, to be honest, but I should have trusted the process because um, gold hollow just plays off it so nicely. Um, you can kind of see the wiggle there. That's what, one thing I love about these lights. So kind of the toss-up is having this little bit of a reflection, but it picks up the foil so well, which my old light and the window <laughs> didn't used to do. So I'm happy with it and I hope it's okay because um, obviously I'm not the one watching it. Love, love, love this. I really encourage you to pick up Elle's seasonal mysteries whenever you can because the art is always fucking fire. Oh, and I did a little box. That's nice. Okay, moving on. Is this full theme? Yes. Okay, next we are on to Caress Press. So this one was a little bit so-so. Um, I wasn't super excited to use it, but um, it's, an, it's a pretty kit. So this one is very, very heavy on the green, which is a good thing to change it up. It actually doesn't look super heavy on green. I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, but in person, it's all I see. It's just very green. But as I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing because it's nice to change it up. Um, but it is definitely very green. Um, this artist that I don't know, I don't want to say 100%, but I feel like she does a lot of exclusives for Caress Press. I don't think this was one of them, but I think she does work with Caress Press. Is not my favourite. Um, I think her people aren't my favourite. So that definitely has some sort of impact on, you know, the art and, and the overall style. But I do really, really like the colours. This is very up my alley. Warm red, warm orange, warm brown, and then olive green. That's that's autumn to me, so... Yeah, um, I don't have a lot to say about this one. It's kind of... I wasn't super excited to use it, and I'm not super excited about the spread, but it's fine. Like, I like it, so... Moving on. That was from Caress Press, I'm not sure if I said, and I'm pretty sure it was called Apple Orchard. Okay. Next is my favourite autumn spread of the year. Just putting that out there. I, I did a vote on my Instagram and a lot of people voted for this one, but more people voted for another one. But this one's my favourite. I knew it would be. I just... I said in my haul when I first... When I picked it up, if you could... Like, if I made a kit that was just me in kit form, this is it. This is... So I know I've said it a few times, but so far up my alley, it is not even funny. Warm brown, brownie red, warm orange, warm brown, warm orange. The whole kit is orange. Orange is my favorite color, if you didn't know. So that helps why autumn is um, one of my favorite seasons. The bottom washi is incredible. I love the pattern. I kept it really simple and only used the 15 millimeter strip, not the bows. Um, I use the Bonfire Wiggle, which is one of my, if not my favorites from, I say recently, but it's probably like two years old now. Um, but I really love it. Um, I also combined it with gold. I did that last time and I really enjoyed it. I, I've seen other people use Bonfire and combine it with like silver and stuff. To me, that doesn't go personally, but 
um, gold goes. So, love. Love, 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 love. I really, <laughs> this was my most anticipated spread and it's my favorite so it is glam planner and it was called leaves um, if you are in the market for an autumn kit I know it America's coming up to fall I'm telling you you do not want to miss this art um, it's Celeste studio which is my favorite artist so I mean what more could Emma want literally nothing this is all I could ever want in a kit it's just Beautiful. I did the um, the weekend banner thing that Samantha Plans and Reads does, and I love it. That it fit perfectly on the bed. So I don't know if you can probably see that there. We'll do a little wiggle. Oh, it's just my favorite, honestly. I love it so 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 much. So number one autumn kit of the year. Um, next one isn't really an autumn kit. Do I count it as autumn? more of an anytime kit so I'll skip it and then last but not least this is the one that most people voted for for their favorite and it's probably my second favorite so or maybe that other one actually that's a tough decision oh and this one too I don't know what's my second favorite this is my favorite and then everyone voted for this one which rightfully so it's freaking beautiful so this was the july 2020 mystery kit which reminds me um the day i'm filming this spc just revealed her july 2021 mystery i'm not gonna say anything but you want to go watch the video i'm guaranteeing you it is fucking divine i'm obsessed with it Whew. She's a good one. So, anyway, this was the 2020 version. Um, it is autumn themed, which Andrea always does an autumn kit, hint, hint, for her July mystery. Um, and this was by Kittenish Jess. It was one of my favorites that she put out the whole of last year. Um, just absolutely loved it. The reason I chose it for this week is because Although it was very autumn heavy, I feel like the navy and the darker tones brought it to late autumn. And for me, this is like, this is the last day of autumn, the 31st, and then this is actually winter. So I really wanted to use, well, I always try and do a transition kit from the start, the end, like end of autumn, start of winter, for example. And then I'll do one end of winter, start of spring. So, for example, um, I thought this worked really well for that transition just because of the deeper, darker tones. So, um, I did a little extender on the sidebar, which I ended up really loving. It looks like this. It's like the toolbox. Because I wanted to use the this one and the girl as well. Um, so I did it on a toolbox and then, you know, pop that in. Um... I used gold foil, um, I used my favourite Simply Gilded, Gilded Washi of All Time, which is the burgundy with gold bows. Obviously this, it could not match better with this kit, <laughs> honestly. Um, I decided to colour block, which I used to colour block way back in the day, but I don't anymore. Obviously I know it's starting to kind of come back in vogue, but it's not personally for me. I did it in this spread because I hate this color um i kind of understand wanting to kind of brighten up these three deeper darker tones but i just don't like it if this was like a brown or even like this charcoal color oh, chef's kiss beautiful um but i just don't like the beige so i thought if i color block then i can use like double all of the other colors and just do one day of beige and i actually think it looks great to me, the spread looks deep and dark and moody, which is what I wanted, because there's not much of this colour there. Um, love it. I honestly, I can see why people voted this number one. It, re it really is stunning. To be honest, it's probably my best spread looking, like, subjectively, objectively. Like, taking myself and my emotions out of it, it probably is my best spread. It's just that I love that other art. Um, so much so yeah I love this I used gold foil I actually used the foil bundle that came with it um, it had gold stars so I just thought that went really nicely with this one um, I put in a couple of quote boxes but really the art is what shines so 
that's it. That's my last autumn spread. Um, that's my autumn wrap up for 2021. If you didn't vote in my Instagram poll or if you just want to tell me your opinion now, please let me know which one was your favorite. You now know what my favorite was, um, but I really would like to hear. Um, and yeah, if you like any of these kits, I think I've said what each of them are and from which shop if you want to pick them up for this coming year. If I have left any out, just leave it in the comments and I will try my best to tell you what it is. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see everybody next time. Bye!